What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Omzi here. We are back. Episode 11 of Assassination Classroom. Last episode was solid. Wasn't one of the best episodes we've got introduced to so far. And plus, there really wasn't much happening in there. There was a little bit more character development with Yelovich. Nagisa and Karma went to go see a movie with Kuro Sensei. So there really wasn't honestly much going on other than the last scene that we got shown in that episode, which is basically the newest character that we're getting introduced to. What is this now? Almost the 10th newest character we've got introduced to so far in what 10 episodes almost almost over 10 episodes we've got introduced over maybe 10 new characters so yeah but this one may be the most different out of everybody that we've seen so far because there could be a possibility that he has relation to Koro sensei in some way i don't know if that one dude was actually being serious or just metaphorical but he may have some relation to Koro sensei so we're just gonna see what this character has to offer in this episode we know that he is debuting in here and so far karma is still my favorite character in here even though there's a lot of them in here so let's see what this character has to offer so without any further ado let's get straight into it if you guys are new to the channel is a like my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys when you're notified on release those videos definitely smash that notification bell but with that being said let's get right into the episode Karasuma just all by himself june 15th wow almost what june 8th is today too <laughs> the way i'm recording this video Great, it's rain in anime. Maybe this will mean something different. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with him? Oh, with the rain. <laughs> According to Mr. Karasuma, we have another transfer student joining us. Great. Great. It's going to be another assassin. I made a bit more trouble for myself. You're in class E. All of you guys are. Hey, heard anything? I mean, since you're both new, figure you transfers got to stick together, right? Actually, I do know a little bit. Oh. The original plan was for he and I to start at the same time. Yeah. Work out that way. That's right. I would handle long range attacks. He would focus on close range. Hmm. Mind efforts were to back her sensei into a corner. Huh. Our masters would call the order for the reasons. Reasons. And those were for one, my counterpart needed a few tweaks before being put into the field. Tweaks. It was deemed I lacked the capacity. Is he like a cyborg or like super genetic? Like compared to what he's capable of, well, let's just say that I don't quite measure that. I'm excited, bring it on. She blew off Koro Sensei's fingers. Whoa. What kind of beast must this new guy be? Let alone straight up in your face. Let's see. <laughs> so, do we were introduced to? I like the lighting with this. Somebody likes to wear white. <laughs> it's the white clad from Fire Force. Sorry, everyone. Didn't mean to startle you. I what? can see that you're confused. I'm what? not your new classmate, just his guardian. But let's not stand on ceremony. Call me Shiro, please. Shiro. I don't know what's creepier, a guy in all white or a guy in all <sighs> I feel like this is a ploy. <laughs> Only one not for you. This show loves to throw me off, but still. Look at Kuro, what the f- Oh, come on, give us a break. That really scared you enough to use the liquefy trick? <laughs> <laughs> my other mountainers are just around a little wild after Reese's story, that's all. Oh, my God. Mr. Shiro, when might we get to greet your uh, ward? It's right now, probably. Sensei. Apologies for my ward, as you called him, being late for class. Mm, he's already tardy already. He'll be here in due course. Allow me to introduce him. All right. Now, Eterna. Come. Eterna. Eterna? Eterna? <laughs> I will know more about it eventually. What a way. What a way to make an introduction. I have proven myself stronger than the classroom wall. Come on! Use the door next week! <laughs> the wall didn't have anything. <laughs> else is crap. Awesome. He's, He's sitting next to Karma. Damn. Sure damn. Damn, damn, damn. A transfer student impossible to read. Something tells me we're in for stormy weather. <laughs> hey, new kid. Mind if I ask you a question? Oh, shit. You came in from the rain without an umbrella. It's coming down in buckets out there, and somehow there's not a drop on you. Yeah. What's the story with that? Yeah. I feel like him and Karma are going to be friends. I don't know. You're the strongest one in this class, aren't you? Yeah. 
But you don't have to worry. You're still weaker than me. <laughs> you get to live. You're beneath my skill. Oh, please give him competition. You're stronger than me. Please. And well, look no further. I'm stronger than you by a whole order of magnitude. Yeah, sure. Sure. Not so much. Truth is, you and me are actually brothers. <laughs> now, is there actually? Was that a- Oh my god! <laughs> Dragon Ball! After school, we face off in this classroom. Okay. <laughs> Does he know? Does he not know? Did he- That boy is clearly confused! I was raised an only child! When I asked my parents for siblings, they gave me a talking to about the birds and the bees! Bruh! <laughs> Wait, you actually have parents? It was necessary to keep my ward's existence classified. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that meant you had to be kept in the dark. Improbable as it may seem, though, I can guarantee you they are, in fact, brothers. Really? Their little contest after school this afternoon will leave no room for doubt. Uh, Let's see. Like junk food like it's going out of style. He's definitely got Koro Sensei's sweet tooth. Hmm. Both their faces are equally hard to read. Yeah. Wonderful. Itoda's comment has the whole class comparing us in every detail. <laughs> I need a distraction. Oh, yes. I'll take my mind off things by pouring over this girly magazine. Nothing like a little adult reading material. I bet they got the same thing. The same thing! <laughs> it. They're both boot guys. <laughs> the new kid's credibility to shot through the roof. Unless he... <sighs> it just seems so unbelievable, but... Men are all brothers. Can now you sit the hell down, simp, so I can talk? All right, we're here. Okay. Set foot outside the desk boundary, and your life is forfeit. Hmm. Oh yeah, sure, whatever. As if the loser's gonna stick to that without any issues. They will. Our sensei's all about how his students see. You, remember? He'll abide by the rules out of a sense. That's true. Begin. <laughs> Did he do that just his our eyes were all riveted to the same thing? Did he ugly enough it wasn't our teacher's amputated limb? Impossible. Whoa, is that his hair? Holy shit! Well damn, they are related. Each one his hair is made of tentacles. That's how he stayed dry. Sneaky bastard didn't need an umbrella after all. <laughs> no, no, he did not. Bad at the raindrops, huh? Damn. Possible. Oh, now he's getting pissed. Tell me where those tentacles came from. Why does someone like you have Whoa, now that's probably the most fired up we've seen him this show. Does this encounter stir up unpleasant memories, perhaps? Oh, God. You and I need to have a little talk. Not possible. You'll be dead. You'll be dead. This pressure ray has a very useful effect at close range. It triggers the latent properties of your skin cells. Whoa. Stiff as a board instantaneously. That's right. Eton and I are on intimate terms with your every weakness. There's a lot going on. Don't know what is going on. Look up. Barely able to get out of there. He's so fatigued. Shedding your skin. Ah, yes. We know about that little trick, too. You see, Koro Sensei, there's an aspect even to that which constitutes an Achilles heel. <laughs> molting costs you dearly in terms of energy. Vulnerable after molting. That is true. That would make sense. Oh, and look, you've grown back that arm Eton and lobbed off in his initial attack. Vulnerable after regeneration. By my calculations, at the moment, this makes the two of you a fairly even match for one another. Using one's tentacles effectively calls for a great deal of mental... Damn, he really knows a lot. He knows everything. ...the rug out from under your state of mind, which, of course, was the idea. Not to boast, but it's obvious who has the upper hand. Oh, also, he has the help of his devoted guardian. It's really much a 2v1 situation. Holy... Pesky legs back now too. Which is even gonna just give him make him more weak. That was easier than I thought. Look at you. Not so tough now, huh? 
Damn. Damn. Hero Sensei on the ropes. If they actually kill him, they'll save the world. They'll save the world and they'll get the money. It's hard to get excited about that. They not only know his weak points, they know how to zero in on them one after the other. Yeah. That's cool and all, but we were hoping to pull this off ourselves. Yeah. If anyone gets to kill him, it should be us. I thought she was. I, I thought he was gonna say it should be me. Mr. Shiro, for all your planning, there's one thing you don't seem to have taken into account. Hmm. Not likely. No detail is overlooked. No angle is unconcerned. You sure? Finish you. What happened? What happened? I know he probably ain't dead because this is only the eleventh episode. What do we have here? Hmm. I seem to be standing in something you dropped. Huh? Oh! How did I miss that? Wow! Haha! <laughs> Look at that! Every generation takes just as much a toll. You may be exceptionally strong, but I'm exceptionally clever! Oh! Damn! <laughs> Screw the window! <laughs> Don't worry, children. He's fine. My old skin kept him perfectly safe. Technically, though, Etona, you are outside the boundary. <laughs> so you lose, little cocky little. <laughs> and and boop, boop, et cetera, et cetera. No more trying to kill me with your guardian's help. Damn. However, you'd like to stay, perhaps learn a thing or two along with the rest of the class. We'll welcome you with open <laughs> arms. Bear in mind, what you learn here can't necessarily be quantified. You are a gifted young man. Man, between him and Karma, I don't really know who I like more. I don't know. Are you saying that I'm never gonna be strong enough to beat you? You think that I'm weak? We met the Bakugo at the show. Finally. Finally. <laughs> oh, he has another form? I think the dude's about to go postal. I am strong. These tentacles assure my victory over everyone. Everyone! He transformed? Oh, damn. And I assume Karasuma hit him with a dart. Pardon us, Koro Sensei. Or is that him? Oh, that was him. Hmm. classroom material at the best of times. It's not lost on me that this is his first day, but a mandatory vacation is clearly in order. Hmm. Excuse me, I can't let you walk out of here with him. He's my student. Until graduation, his well-being falls. That is true. Him. Yep, you give it up to him. You're not the guardian anymore. Questions to ask you, Mr. Shiro. Sorry, we're leaving. Unless you care to use force. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, can barely touch. I have no intention of being restrained by you. What an unpredictable classroom. Like this weather we're having today. <laughs> Wonderful weather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dreadfully embarrassed. He's got. This is the first time he really got shown up, other than Karma. But I mean, Karma didn't last that long. Children are supposed to think of me as comic relief. We are level with this, sir. What's up? Yeah. Can we know something? I'd love to know more, please. Normally do. We all have a right to know. You don't want our imaginations running wild. Exactly. Come on, we're your students. If you can't open up to us, what are we here for? That's true. You're right. It's high time I told you children the truth. Here we go. In reality, your teacher is a biologically engineered life form. <laughs> yeah. I love the music cut. It was so hilarious. Me if I expected a bit more of a reaction. Sir, we kind of noticed that you're an octopus that flies through the air at Mach 20. At Mach 20, easily. So that rules out aliens. And how else can you and each one of be brothers when you have different parents unless you were biologically engineered? Oh my! You boys and girls are incredibly sharp. <laughs> Focus on what happened today. Why were you mad? His tentacles upset you. We've never seen him like that. Yeah. Does it have something to do with why you were created in the first place? Come on, man. Give us something. All very good questions. Too bad they won't matter. Soon. Everything you want to know will be to space dust, swirling in the place where Earth used to be. I still don't think it's going to happen, and I've already explained why. Teacher, student, assassin, target. Those are the ties that bind us to one another in this classroom. Nothing comes from nothing, boys and girls. If you want answers, work for them. Show me what you've learned. That's true. 
Then again, I expected that, maybe a little bit. We're done giving yours truly the third degree. <laughs> Class dismissed. That is so unfair. <laughs> We're assassins. We find answers on the edge of a blade. Our target is our teacher. Mm -hmm. And to get more answers, they gotta work for it. They gotta get closer and closer. Mr. Karasima? What can I do for you? Or rather, for all of you. All of you. Um, can you teach us more about assassination? Oh! We sharpen our skills. Here's the deal, sir. We've been slacking off because we figured someone else would take care of killing Koro Sensei, you know? Yeah, except when we saw Itsuna do this. There you go, man. That Sharpen that second blade. want it to be someone else. It should be us. If they can just bring anyone they want to do it, well, what's the point of us being here? That's what he was talking about. Sharpen that second blade. You don't want anybody else to come in, take that spot, and take that money. Please. All right, then. Students interested in beefing up their assassination skills can stay after class. Be ready to work hard. Yes, sir. That's good as hell. Climbing up this rope. It's brand new. broken in. Seriously? I do think that this is the end of the first half of the show. I really do think so. It feels like it. The rain lets up, the bell rings, another day ends. Okay, wow. Whoo, really solid episode. Honestly, one of my favorites just for this character introduction. So now let's get into the discussion. So now getting off the first half of this season so far, I'd say that this episode is honestly one of my favorites. It's up there with the Karma introduction episode because just of how Etona now knowing his name, really had a good introduction. I, if I would say maybe great introduction because he straight up was like, no, I wanna fight you, I'm related to you, let's go. 1v1, let's do this right now. And I love that there actually was a plan for Itona and Ritsu to come in together, which what I thought was gonna happen, to come in together like, oh, for Ritsu to, uh, to handle long rage attacks and for Itona to handle up close combat. So I really like that, that they actually had a plan for that and they probably would have done some damage let alone because Koro was definitely more on the fence than we've ever seen him so far in this show. And man, we just... I love that with Koro, and it makes sense with it, like, oh, not being able to, because we, we know that something is there for 11 episodes, and we know that there is some sort of backstory, and that's something that he's hiding, and he's very sensitive with, with whatever has happened. So, he not even only doesn't want to tell the students, because he wants them to work harder, but he loves to really make the viewers wait, like, really, for this, because I don't know when they might get into this. So, at least I have something to look forward to. At least it makes me still tune into the show to know more more about it because that's what I really want to find out so it gives me a purpose to keep tuning in for episode and episode to see when honestly they'll do it that's good that's really good that's really good motivation to keep the viewers interested just I mean it depends on what the viewers are looking for in this show me personally I love everything that they've so far introduced in this show I know the dynamic between Koro and the students and I've said so far once again I'll say it again that I don't think he's actually like he has the motive to blow up the planet and destroy it I don't think that's his motive I think he's just doing that just so he can have the students go to their fullest potential in order to kill him so and and then that's the whole point with him saying the whole sharp like sharpening that second blade speech a couple episodes ago so that these students don't start slacking off and another person like kills him and gets that money so i love that everything story wise and narrative wise came through in this first half of this show now the students are in a much better place than they were in like the first couple episodes they actually really care they are going to do their best to just do what they can to kill koro sensei and and just just to do it do what they came here for and do what they're here, here to do so this episode is really really good first half of this show once again i still really really like it i'm waiting for it to pick up and maybe like there would be something else that will probably maybe go like more dark into the show maybe this show will go into like darker depths maybe with it maybe with certain characters storylines something i don't know but let's see what this show has left to offer next episode i have no idea what's going to happen it looks like just from the preview they might be playing baseball or something or it might be a flashback with Sugino. I'm not sure, but as most of you know, I absolutely love baseball. Baseball was one of my growing up sports, so I can't wait to see what the hell is going to happen in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys are excited for the rest of Assassination Classroom, and you guys like the channel, like, subscribe, comment down below, and as always, my name is Obzi, and I am out.